and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a Primark haul. Now bear in mind where I live, where I'm based in Kent, Primark's not all that big and yeah, um, to be honest there weren't really much that good stuff in there either but I went into Primark anyway because I'm absolutely skinned, it's January, I spent all my money, I'm still waiting for payday um, but I wanted to treat myself and what better place to go than to Primark to find some good bargains so um, yeah I'm just going to show you guys what I got um, from Primark today and hopefully you maybe see a few pieces that you like and you may want to go and pop into Primark and pick these up for yourself too. So um, this is um, the bag that I got so quite big um, yeah I didn't really get that much in terms of clothing I don't tend to shop at Primark for clothes you may find that this haul actually includes a lot more sort of accessories and things like that so please do bear that in mind um, yeah anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna crack on with it so the first thing that I actually got was this um, midi length sort of denim skirt. Now I got this in a size 10 because my ass is quite big. Um, I'm usually like an 8 in leggings and things like that but when it comes to denim pieces and things that are a little bit um, harder to fit into um, I usually do size up to a size 10. And I really 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 liked this. I feel like denim has always been in fashion yet I feel like it's becoming, it's going to become even more so this year. Especially when it starts to hit some you're going to see a lot of sort of denim jumpsuits like I'm wearing now a lot of this sort of denim midi length skirts because usually you get like the mini ones but I feel like these are going to start coming back into fashion um if you said that I was going to pick this up um in the future when I was younger um when I was on a shopping trip I would laugh straight in your face um my mum used to wear this sort of um style denim skirt and I just never thought it would be for me and especially because I'm quite small but actually I really really like it it looks really nice it feels like quite a good quality and it was only it was only £12 so um, yeah grabbed a little bit of a bargain there. Next thing that I got was this um, pack of 40 denier um, black tights. Um, I wear a lot of tights when I go to work and stuff like that so these always come in handy. The ones that I've got at the moment are starting to get holes in and yeah it's just quite a good price. £3 for those. Then the next thing that I decided to pick up were these sort of um, slide sandals and they've kind of got this sort of knot. Um, sort of detailing in the middle here. Um, yeah, I just chose black because black goes with everything. Got these in a size four and they're only four pounds. So yeah, I thought these would be really good for summer or just like shoes that you want to slip on. Not kind of like sliders, but ones that you can, you know, sort of dress up and shoes that you can just slip on and like it looks nice with an outfit. Um, I just thought these would be quite good um, just for that or maybe even for holiday, something like that. But yeah, I thought these were quite a bargain. They also do them in sort of like a mustardy yellow. Not brave enough to go for that because um, if you know me, I don't really wear a lot of colour. But yeah, if you don't know, check out my Instagram. I'll leave it here or something so you can go check it out and see what sort of fashion that I'm into. Um, very min very minimalist and very sort of neutral colours. I don't tend well colours neutral tones I don't tend to go for colour very often as don't know I just feel like um neutral tones are a lot more versatile you can wear them a lot more frequently and I feel like that's what my sort of fashion style is and quite um versatile I like to be able to wear the same thing but wear it differently like many many times um so yeah um, <laughs> enough about that rambling, uh, that's those sandals. Next thing that I decided to pick up was another clothing item and it was this um, white sort of tight the front blouse um, here with the sort of tortoise shell um, buttons on it. Um, yeah, it's a sort of linen material, quite light and airy, nice for the spring, summertime. I thought it'd go really nicely with the denim skirt that I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, it's retails at £10 and I got this in a size 16 they only seem to have really really big sizes left in the store and that's kind of why I struggled with um you know buying things in Primark recently because a lot of the sizes that they had left were either too small or too big for me um yeah I don't know if that's because of the sale when you know they're getting into the new year trying to bring the new stock in I don't know but yeah I kind of had a big 
kind of had a bit of a big problem with um, Primark due to that. Um, but anyway, I could wear this as like a more sort of baggier thing. I can, it's still wearable. It's not too big for me, so I can still wear it. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd look really nice with the um, denim skirt and maybe even with the sandals as well. Make quite a nice little outfit there. Next thing I picked up was this pack of pearl earrings. Now there's 12 in a pack, amazing. And they come in three different sizes brilliant I wear pearl earrings all the time if you know me the only earrings that I have in a sort of pearl or like chrome like I'm wearing now um yeah I just feel like that's all that I can about manage I don't really do jewelry um never really have the most I wear is like a pair of earrings and like um yeah a watch um I'm gonna start wearing a lot more jewelry in 2019 I'm gonna make that a bit more of a task and try to become a little bit more ladylike but yeah I've got another pack of these because um, I'd love to have the Dior ones, <laughs> they're so expensive, but yeah, I keep losing these, so if I can't look after these, I probably won't be able to look after the Dior earrings, and then we'd have a really big problem, so that's those. Next up, funnily enough, is another piece of jewellery, although I just mentioned that I don't really like to wear jewellery, um, I thought this was quite cute, so this was £2, and it's just um, a letter C necklace, and it's quite delicate. I already have um, a necklace that's similar to this, however, I thought this looks a lot nicer, um, just because it's a lot more dainty, a little bit more delicate, um, and I like that sort of jewellery, I don't like anything that's too out there, so yeah, pick that up. If you watched previous Primark videos of mine, then you will know that this item is a reoccurring purchase, and yes, of course, it is the cotton pads, the oval ones, and they retail at 90p. Just really useful for like, um, micellar cleanser water and for nail polish remover, so I always have these handy. Next up is quite a useful sort of makeup tool, now it's a makeup brush clean at all, looks like this sort of pink silicone-y thing, um, yeah, guilty, I kind of hate washing makeup brushes, I'm sure everybody else does, but I really, really despise it, I try to avoid it as much as possible, and I haven't really had, like, a proper routine, I've always just kind of, like, washed my makeup brushes, like, with my hand, with a little bit of baby shampoo, um, I know there's a lot of better ways of doing it, and I thought this was a good way of, um, taking the next step and trying something new, so, got that, and that retailed at pound fifty. if I haven't already mentioned that. Okay, so I know we're a long shot away from summer coming any time soon here in the UK, but I actually bought a pair of sunglasses, and they're these sort of cat eyes ones, um, with the tortoise shell detailing, I already have, like, a black pair that's similar to this, um, kind of like those, are kind of trendy, don't think they suit me, but I like them anyway, and yeah, so I just thought I'd pick up a different version in the tortoise shell, because I actually prefer these. <laughs> oh yeah, and they were only £2, so bargain. Next thing that I got was an absolute bargain, it was actually in the sale, I'll never find anything in the Primark sale, sales just annoy me, like literally, whenever I walk into a shop and there's a sale, it stresses me the hell out that everything is so unorganised and everyone is just scattering around the place. So I always find myself in like the new in section, but this time I actually had a look in the sale because the store wasn't that busy. And I managed to pick up this sort of beige double breasted jacket which ties around the waist with a belt. And this was only £7, could you believe it? Really, really like it. Um, I got it in the size 14 because that's, again, all they had left. But I'm not complaining because I usually like to wear, like, a jumper or something underneath this. So it gives me a bit of room to wear that. But how nice is this? I've got something similar to it, but it's not as nice as this. And it used to be £15. So, yeah, I was quite pleased with that purchase there. Um, kind of maybe trick people into thinking it's Burberry, maybe not. <laughs> but, yeah, I really like that. Next. Next up is scrunchies. Now this is a pack of three and they retailed at £2 so you get a black sort of satin one, leopard print I'm obsessed with at the moment and this sort of beigey gold one here in the middle. Um, really really like this selection. I don't actually own a pair of scrunchies so I think it's about time because they're kind of coming into fashion now. I remember growing up they used to be so unfashionable. Mum used to wear them a lot but I never really understood it. But now that I saw this cute little pack I could not resist. Especially because of the leopard print, I think that's pretty much what drew me into purchasing this, but we won't talk about that. And because it is so, so cold at the moment, it's getting cold, I think it's gonna snow. It did actually snow the other day in the morning, I got caught in it, but you know, it was only a little bit of like sleep. I feel like proper winter is coming here in England, like we're way overdue. We had a brilliant summer last year, I think we're expecting another one this year, so there's gotta be some really cold weather coming soon. So 
backed myself up with some cozy socks. Now these are leopard print, what an absolute win there. Like I said, obsessed with leopard print at the moment. Um, there's a pack of two here, they're £1.80, and I just thought I'd pick these up anyway. I was trying to talk myself out of purchasing these um, when I was in the queue waiting because I've got so many pairs of fluffy socks from Primark. But do you know what I mean when you've washed them over and over again? They no longer feel the way that they first did. Like when you first put them on, when you first purchased them, they just feel so nice and cozy and so soft. After a few washes, that sort of thing's gone, they're all a bit bobbly and ugh, and I think it's about time to get some of those. So yeah, let me know down below if you know what I mean, I'm not just like a mad person. Um, but yeah, leopard print, love that. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, something from the homeware section. Now, seen this sort of thing on H&M and they've kind of been quite pricey and I don't know if I was like willing to pay that much or whether I'd actually use it or not, then, I saw basically the same thing in Primark today and it is this golden leaf here. Now use it as what you want to use it for but I feel like you could put some jewellery in there, some of your rings, some of your earrings just to keep them all together. Um, yeah and it's really sort of, and yeah it, I really really do like the sort of gold leaf um, design about it just attracted to it <laughs> and what's even better was that it was only £2.50 so whereas they're selling these sort of similar things in H&M for let's say £12.99 £2.50 you can't go wrong and that's why I love Primark because anything that you're looking for you can get a cheaper alternative in Primark or something similar which is always good and especially now that it's January we all kind of are a little bit skin still want to treat ourselves go shopping Primark is the best place to go however they do need to improve the store that I currently shop in or I need to go to London and do a shop there because the stuff that I've seen um, in people's halls from the, where they live in London etc amazing they have an amazing stock there although there's store on Oxford Street is pretty large and whenever I'm in London I never think to go into Primark and whenever I pass through it I'm usually just getting some gloves because it's cold and going to Winter Wonderland but maybe I should actually take a day trip there and do like a proper Primark haul because I feel like that would be a lot better than what I've purchased today but don't get me wrong I love everything that I've purchased that's why I bought it um, that's why there's not so much within this haul because these are stuff I genuinely like genuinely use genuinely will keep at the end of this so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and got a bit more of an insight as to what's in Primark at the moment and what my sort of style is um, yeah if you guys enjoyed this video then please don't forget to like um, subscribe, maybe even comment, leaving a suggestion or just saying hello, that would be really nice. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs>